Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing a Mexican fire leg, a Bratty Puma Bohemi from my bestseller out of my two of the exotic pets. And he told me that it's docile. And let's begin. Okay, so let's prepare the enclosure. So I'm putting substrate. I mean coconut fiber. It isn't really the best option to put coconut fiber with a sling because most of the times coconut fiber is very damp and they might get the cold. And just for decoration, I'm going to be putting two rocks. And here's my water dish. And over here, I have a coconut shell, a hide. Okay, so now it's enclosure is prepared. Okay guys, she's in here. I have a cutter. So this is my naughty brother as I mentioned to you in my first video. Hi, my name is Rohan. I'm five years old. I like bugging my brother. Okay, can I please watch you open? In the box. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. What's in it? What's in it? My new tarantula. But what are these things called? These things are for packing so the tarantula doesn't get her on the trip. Okay guys, as you can see, she's in here. Oh, fancy, animal planet. So. He's packed in nicely. Okay, here it comes. Oh, she's aggressive. Cool. Looks like, looks like she's in a new mode today. Oh, he's cute. Can I hold him? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm kidding. It's poisonous. It's poisonous. Poison, poison, poisonous. So she's 
and shit. Probably the seller made her pretty mad while putting her in the box. Okay, she's in back here. Okay, so as you might know, th these guys are found in Mexico. And they live in about 23 degrees Celsius, which makes them live under logs. And they can be found in burrows of aban abandoned burrows of mice and lizards. These guys have been spotted by scientists eating small lizards a few times. They like to eat crickets, a multiple amount of crickets. And most of the times they're docile. They're known as to be a very good beginner species. And if you're wondering what those orange hair on its abdomen are, those are called urticating hairs. It uses them for defense whenever it's threatened instead of rising its fangs like rather than old world tarantulas. So they rub their abdomen and these hairs come out and they're irritating. I'm gonna try to get her to do it. I'm annoying her a lot with the tongue because I like want to show you how they use their urticating hairs. So that I'm trying to get that to happen. All of, I just realized that all of a sudden. She became way more docile as soon as I took her out of her cage because now she has a big happy home. And by the way, Brachypelma, the genus is known to be very docile and one of the most docilest tarantulas in the world. And as you might be wondering, what's the difference between New World and Old World tarantulas? New World tarantulas are the docile ones and found in the Southern Hemisphere. And uh, Old World tarantulas are more aggressive and more venomous and are found in the Eastern Hemisphere. It's so cute. What's its name? Brachy from a uh, I forgot. Okay, the easy name is Mexican Fire Leg. Well, that's that's an easy name. New World tarantulas are not likely to attack you because of the docileness. Hey Ron, what's up? What? Have any questions? Oh yes. Yeah, what is it? Why did you put the coconut there? Oh, that's a good one. The tarantula is like darkness, so to have her get some private time when she's molting and all that stuff. Which black thing? Like that. That? Yeah, that's her abdomen. Her yeah. abdomen's black. Yeah. Okay, guys, as you can see that I'm about to open my super worm. She probably might be hungry after that long trip. So let's give it a shot. Ah, not interested. Well, I'll give it one more try. No, probably the seller fed her before giving, sending her.
just for the suicide, before, if she doesn't starve to death or anything. Tarantulas can live without food for about two years. And if it becomes three, it's a very, there's a very good chance that, that they're gonna die. Have any more questions? Oh yeah. Why did you put that water there for a reason? Oh, well, that's a good one for her to drink. Okay. Water if she gets but how, thirsty. But how do spiders drink? Oh, they absorb the water with their with the red furry part with with their fangs, and they go inside of the water dish, sometimes it looks like that. But you should always manage the deepness in your water dish, just in case they don't go into the water dish and drown while they're molting. And what's up with you again? Oh, I have any more questions? Why do we feed them super warm? And why do they go inside their food? Okay, so we feed them superworms because they like the juiciness in superworms. And the, the superworms are going inside there because they're always found in the ground and that stuff. And this part may seem funny to you guys, but they go inside of their food. Yeah, they go inside of their food. Any more questions? Oh, yes. And what would that be? Yeah. Why do we put coconut fiber for them? So we put coconut fiber for them so they feel like they're in the jungle or something. Like the dirt that it's mixed up with, they feel like they're in, in their habitat and in, their, in the jungle. Any more? Oh yes. And what would that be again? Why did you put a rock? Wait, oh, just to make her feel home. Home? Yeah, home. Any more? Uh, no. Okay. Or, I'll tell you when. Okay, I'll just give it one more shot for her. No, she seems docile as soon as she comes out of here. I'm confused and offended. Okay guys, that was the unboxing of my new tarantula. And by the way, you keep on asking me questions and going to sleep, then asking questions and going to sleep. Because you're not letting me hold it, that's why I'm pretending to sleep. Uh, you're not allowed to touch it, it's not safe. <laughs> so, I'm okay. I'm not gonna bother you anymore. Bye.
Okay guys, that was the, as I said, that was the unboxing of my new tarantula and that was my naughty brother. And by, oh, and by the way, my next video is gonna be on separating those Histocrates Gigas giant baboon babies. And every two days, I'm gonna be giving you an update on them. So have a good day in whichever part of the world you are in. Life is empty without pets.